Hi. Hey friends. I just wanted to go live because I I don't know if you've seen some of the stuff that came out with uh, Jetson White and Tom Numbers talking about how there could be a zombie apocalypse happening uh, September 3rd at midnight uh, DC Eastern time, which would be 11 p.m. here in about 30 minutes. <laughs> Um, and it wasn't just a zombie apocalypse. It was like a whole, um, event where there would be a sound event. And I just want to let you know that, um, Janine, uh, did a reading on her private group and, uh, looked into that and found out that that was an alternate timeline and that was crisis averted. So that was a possibility that could have happened that is not going to happen, but, there is some major stuff happening with the sun and sun plasma rays and sunspots and also a rocket supposed to go off tomorrow. So there are a lot of things happening. Um, but Judson White, Judson White said that um, all of the people with the thing might become zombies. Um, but just wanted to let you know, like, don't even <laughs> stress out about that. I know it sounds kind of ridiculous, but, um, it came from a good place and it's just definitely not going to happen. Thank God we have some good guys and some white hats fighting behind the scenes to make sure this kind of stuff doesn't happen. But yes, it was a possibility and it's canceled. So... I am going to go enjoy some live music, so hopefully it is canceled. If, if, the, if the people start look like they're salivating or something, I may just have to run in the car and come home. <laughs> but anyways, um, I was really happy with the uh, conversation that Ishmael and I had. It had a little rocky start because of my technical difficulties. I apologize. I didn't have any of my notes and everything because I had all, everything on my phone, which I had to use. So... <clears throat> But I thought it was perfect. I thought it came out like just wonderful. You know, it was a great conversation. It was natural. And um, it's just really interesting. Like we have a lot in common, um, Ishmael and I. Um, also, Kristen and Jason did a video tonight. And I'm just starting it. But it's really good already. And the gematria of what's happening now with this whole like Jets and White and a whole like September 3rd thing. Um, it includes Ishmael too. So it's crazy. We are all connected and we are all literally connected. Everything's connected. Even this, this flower of life right here, like this is a symbol that might make you remember, you know, one of your past lives. And just keep in mind that a lot of people are having dreams right now and they are not actually like dreams like imaginary dreams they're actually having memories like these are memories that we're remembering alternate timelines so it's there's some pretty incredible stuff happening and just because you don't have your own youtube channel doesn't mean that you're not part of this like we're all part of this and i wanted to make my channel because i know what it's like to be an audience member and like be censored and saying like telling people you can't talk about certain things in the chat and I'm like I don't want to do this censorship stuff anymore like we all I'm trying to do is just expect the best and try to hold people accountable because we can't keep bending over backwards and having our rights infringed upon even here in the truth or truth or movement so I think it's very important that you know <clears throat> that everyone can come and say their opinion as long as they're not saying it in a like mean or an uh, attacking way like you can say whatever you want and y some people say don't gossip like stop telling people not to gossip because this is a place that we're all here to connect and we need to connect so please like get involved in the chat and like you know start commenting and let me know what you're going with what you're going through too because you know even though it feels like we're alone we really are all in this together and we're all a piece of the puzzle and we all have a lot of pieces to the puzzle 
Um, Sharon says, I try not to be judgmental, but I think Jetson and his people who surround him are out of their something. Then it went off. <laughs> he is a little different, isn't he? That Jetson guy. He looks like a little elf. Like his little ears are like pointed. Like he's got a little point on him. And he's really little, like he looks really short, but he played a little like tune at the end of the video with Tom Numbers and it was so good. Like he's like a little, he's a singer, he was playing guitar. But I swear, Jetson, Jetson Y is an elf. I put money on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, don't stress out. Like anything that's trying to cause fear, just don't fall into that trap and stay strong and we're great we're golden we're protected um we have the protection within all we have to do is just love ourselves and be there for ourselves and protect ourselves with our energy and when you need to scream i've had to scream recently <laughs> and it's been it's helped actually <laughs> um you know just get it out like what happens if you were to sit in your pain for 45 seconds to a minute and just feel what it feels like? Like, if you could just feel it and let it flow through you, you're going to get it out of your system. Maybe you'll cry a couple tears and then you're good to go. You know, like, just don't suppress it anymore because that's why we're in this position that we're in, you know. Um, so I had the opportunity to get out tonight and see an artist that I've been wanting to see. Her name is Sydney Wright. And I know she's going to be amazing because she does all of this, like, all of this, like, just off the top, like, what a, amazing music on her channel. It's called Sydney Wright Official. Um, you would love it. So I had the opportunity to go and see her tonight. So just wanted to get on and say hi and apologize for that I didn't get a lot of y'all's questions answered with Ishmael because, you know, because of my thing, I didn't have the notes and everything. So I apologize about that. But I still thought it was a really good episode. And um, I think we're all part of this and we're all connecting and, and we're going to be okay. So I love you guys. I... I want to empower you. I want you to empower yourselves. I want us all to empower each other together with the power of love. Because when we come together with love, despite our differences, that is when we step up into our true power. And let me tell you, women, it is time. Like the men, the egotistical men, the narcissist men, they are over. <laughs> they are done. They are living in fear because like... They have no control anymore. Like, us divine feminine women, like, we are free and sovereign to do whatever we want to do. So, we are no longer going to be held down. And there's no ceilings anymore. Like, the women need to be at the very top with the men. I'm not saying the women need to govern the men or men, women need to be above the men, but no. We need to be equals, and it's about effing time for the women to be able to rise to the top. So this is the amazing time in Earth's history. Pinching myself ain't enough anymore, says Charles. <laughs> yeah, this is the time. So I love you guys. We're going to say Jesus, Yeshua. God, Goddess, Source, Creator, Divine Love, help us bring this heaven on earth here. We're ready. Bring us this heaven on earth. Bring us this new earth. Bring us this time of light and love and ascension and helping us to embrace the true power within. Help us to release all of our blocks and just get it all out and just like work through it, God, and just do our work so that we are ready to fight battle for this and Jesus Yeshua's everyone's name I pray amen and so it is so be the love be the light and be well and have a good night <laughs> bye